Hi, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about Miss Wendy Williams. Yes, about the woman who gossips about all of celebrity life and lifestyles for a living is now making celebrity gossip of her own. And to be honest with you guys, I don't feel bad one bit about doing this video about Wendy Williams because it is so long overdue. She definitely needs to stop covering up and hiding and shading her own truth, especially when it comes to her husband and the infidelity that he does does and he's he still continues on to do so it's about time that Wendy Williams comes to her own truth and stop lying to her true fans who really care about her who's been supporting her on this entire journey um that she's been going through she sits in front of her tv show and she's so happy and bubbly but behind doors everybody knows that she's miserable but what's going on now is that the daily mail who has always been following her stories has now revealed a story about wendy williams being in rehab but wendy williams took to her show to say she's speaking her truth let's watch open and truthful person and i've got more to the story for you the truth oh. Um, you know, Kevin, Kevin and I have the Hunter Foundation for the Good of the People, and we recently launched our 8885 uh, Hunter number for those of you caught up in the struggle of addiction. Well, for some time now, and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house. When you see me come to work, glammed up, right after the show, I go across the street, I do my Pilates. I told you two hours a day, I like to take care of my body. And you know, I've had a struggle with cocaine in my past. And I never went to a place to get the treatment. I don't know how, except God was sitting on my shoulder and I just stopped. But um, there are people in your family, it might be you, who've been struggling, and I wanted to know more of the story. So this is my autobiographical story, and I'm living it, and I'm telling you this. After I go to the Pilates, I go to several meetings all around town in the tri-state area, and I see my brothers and sisters caught up in their addiction and looking for help. They don't know I'm Wendy. They don't care I'm Wendy. There's no autographs. There's no nothing. It's the brothers and sisters caught up in the struggle. And it's been, it's been really interesting, um, this ride. Only Kevin and Kevin have known about this. Uh, not my parents. Nobody. Nobody knew. Because <clears throat> I look so glamorous out here. But after I finish my... After I finished my um, appointments to see my brothers and sisters and, you know, breaking bread, I am driven by my 24-hour sober coach back to a home that I live in here in the South, I mean, in the Tri-State with um, a bunch of smelly boys who've become my family. Um, they hog the TV and watch soccer. We talk and read and talk and read and then I get bored with them. <sighs> Doors locked by 10 p.m. Lights out by 10 p.m. So I go to my room and I stare at the ceiling and I fall asleep to wake up to come back here to see you. So that is my truth. <laughs> and, um, I know, I know. Either you're calling me crazy. All right, so that was Miss Wendy Williams on her show coming out of her own mouth. She's saying she's caught up in the struggle of addiction. She's saying that she has a 24-hour sober coach who drives her around and takes her to a sober house where she is living at. She's been going through this for quite some time, but she's never revealed it to anyone, not even her parents. So it's quite weird that she's coming out to me. This is my own opinion at the time where sources were already revealing that she was living in a sober house an hour before she actually aired and told her fans and the world the truth. But in my honest opinion, I honestly think that she's been suppressing a lot of things that's been going on with her and not addressing them. And that 
that has been making it worse for her. And she's been going through a lot emotionally. And she's just really not ready to come to terms and speak about it. But sometimes she needs to take her own advice and speak on it and speak on her truth. Because that's the only way you're going to get through it. Besides the fact that the media and everybody else is talking about her husband who has a mistress and who is allegedly engaged this woman for going on 10 years now. And everyone else and all the other sources are revealing it. Yet the one woman who gossips about everybody else's lifestyle is not covering her own story. And this right here is a red flag. I'm proud of her for coming out and revealing that she has been going through this. Because some other people who may be addicts or going through something, they may look at Wendy Williams as a signal of, you know, you can get help. It's okay and you're not alone. So I do commend her for that. I won't drag her for that. That's just not what I do. That's not what I'm, I'm about. But the fact that her husband is an issue and she may need to address that as far as leaving him or separating from him. These may be some of the things that can help her get well and get into recovery faster. But like she said out her own mouth, she will be standing by her husband no matter what. So everybody is pretty much waiting on to see what Wendy Williams wants to do. Is she going to get back to that fun, bubbly, very high-spirited person that she was? Because she definitely has changed. And a lot of people on her cast are saying that they just want the old Wendy back. The one who was very fun and loving and had that sparkle in her eyes. But since she's come out and revealed, this is definitely a step forward. And I'm curious to know... Will she be talking about the other Romans as well and what's ahead for her with the rehab story and the biography? So you guys go ahead and get the comments popping below. Like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching the video to the end. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you guys on the next commentary.